Lakewood National is a golf residential community uh, being built by Lennar Homes. They are building 36 holes here and the membership in the home count will be in the 1300 range. Internal production started last year with design and uh, purchasing of the property. Uh, Mass Earth and construction of the golf course started December of last year into full swing in January of this year. The designer of the golf course is Arnold Palmer Design Team. The golf course is being set up uh, to be uh, amiable to a retired community, but it does have some championship golf uh, attributes to it, but I think uh, they're giving us plenty of uh, fairway space and ample uh, tee yardage options to play you know, up to over 7,000 yards all the way down to into the 5,000s. They wanted to have the golf course open probably in the 1st of December timeline, but because of uh, some scheduling conflicts, maybe some permitting issues and, and weather, that timeline has wiggled some. I think that uh, with the January opening that we're probably looking at, I think everyone's still pretty pleased with that considering what we've dealt with. Uh, we started grassing in June and we just finished grassing our last uh, area which was the practice facility in the driving range uh, in, October, in 1st of October. The weather we had during the rainy season, we incurred 60, 65 inches of rain. Uh, we moved a lot of dirt here. Uh, we've got areas 20, 30 feet of elevation change. So we're looking at an area here uh, in a low part of the fairway where we had some pretty severe washouts in a sprigged area. And we had to come through just recently after the rains have finished and just kind of pinpoint and designate these areas and uh, cut them out and uh, resod them. So we're looking at some fresh sod that was just laid and uh, we're trying to get it down to fairway height. With all the construction going on, there's some challenges with uh, driving around with you know golf course equipment, which is not always uh, you know, conducive for uh, off-road uh, traveling. Uh, so we've had to be creative as far as getting guys around sometimes, you know, without paved roads with uh, in the early stages without having cart paths in. And as far as getting out of our employees with any piece of equipment that's working properly and, and works well is huge in our business. Um, when you start dealing with uh, mechanical issues or difficult to use pieces of equipment, it certainly affects productivity and, and the, uh, the morale of the guys too. Our experience with Club Car uh, during this growing process uh, has been very helpful. Uh, we were able to uh, get an adequate fleet that can help you know, move the crew around in, in different areas and spread us out to uh, tackle more objectives that we set for the golf course. We, we've had very minimal issues. We have uh, encountered a lot of hard to travel areas, especially at the very beginning um, with, without paved roads. And I think the training curve on these vehicles is very easy. They're very easy to operate. Uh, ride very smooth, they got a nice uh, turning radius, uh, the turf tires are you know, easy on the uh, golf course, they're very versatile, I mean, you know, they tow walk mowers that are attached to a trailer, we may use smaller trailers to uh, haul mulch or pine straw, uh, fertilizer spreaders with fertilizer bags, you know, you want to haul uh, sand, soil, uh, haul your uh, two-cycle equipment, they work great as far as being able to handle uh, what we need out here. Dealing with Club Car has been a positive experience, yes. Good company, uh, the, the group of guys that I've dealt with down here are, uh, are professional and uh, certainly uh, responsive. What's exciting about doing a, a new construction grow-in is that the previous one I did was 10 years ago and in the golfing community it's still your golf course. It's kind of your baby, they call it. And so this will forever be uh, entwined with myself. Um, it's kind of how
grow ins and constructions work with superintendents and, and people in, in the community is, you know, that's, sometimes that's a that's a popular question. You know, who designed it? Who grew it in? And it's, it's, so it's kind of cool that you're kind of in that lore of the of the facility.